This guy is about to become a billionaire. He's planting without even using soil and he believes that he can make more than 500 million naira every year. I am planting without soil. Plants only on water solution. And with this, you are growing these big fruits, yes. vegetables. Yes. Wow, look at this. Oh my god, look at how big this pepper is. And you are planting this pepper without even soil. Yeah. Look at how full my hand is. Can you see this? And they are just seven weeks old. Seven weeks old? Yes. What is the maturity stage? It's nine weeks. And in that nine weeks, you'll be two people will be able to give you a uh, one kg. One kg. Uh, one kg is about one thousand six hundred in the market. One thousand six hundred naira for yes. two of this pepper. Yes, exactly. Wow. So wait, what if you decide to harvest all the pepper in this farm? Yes, in this farm we harvest every week. We make up to a million naira, and you, you keep harvesting for almost three months. For three, three months. months. Yes. That is one million naira every week for three months. Yes. So if you have like five of these farms, you'll be making five million naira every week for three months. You'll be making five million naira every week for three months. Yes. Oh my god, you only have one of this one at the you moment. You only have one at the moment. Hey god, this is this guy is really doing something impressive. One million five million naira every week. And it has the potential to even make more than five million. Yes, naira. if you have more the more the greenhouse, the more the money because the market cannot be saturated. No matter what you produce, there are always people that are willing to buy. And this is not the only thing you plant. You plant pepper, cucumber, watermelon, yes. strawberry. Yes. What else? We farm all kind of vegetables and all kind of fruits. So what is the advantage of this method of farming? Why is it better than soy farming? Ooh, there's a lot of advantages. First of all is that your fruits are healthier. Second of all, your fruits start producing early, at early stage. Number, number three is that uh, you have to have more uh, plants within a short space. Like in this place, if you are to farm on a soil, this place will house 7,200 plants. But here, sorry, sorry, on a soil, this place will house 1,200 plants. But hydroponically here, we're taking 7,200 plants. Wow. So it maximizes space for you. Then it also minimizes use of water. But I don't understand what you said. You say on soil to take 7,200. Mm. On soil to take 1,200. On soil to take 1,200. Yes. But hydro... Ponically. Ponically, yes. it will take 7,200. 7, that's like almost times six yes. of what you get with um, soil. You're going to get it with this products. method of farming. Yes, exactly. How can I make a like seriously? I'm really interested in it because like people are making so much. You can imagine. Nobody really needs to travel to the UK anymore. Nobody really needs to travel to Canada yeah. when people can make this amount of money here in Nigeria. Yeah. And you know what annoys me most? What annoys me most is the fact that there are so many lands that are wasting in Nigeria. Why can't the government give out these lands to these farmers to use to, you know, to, to bring back something to the economy? Yes, exactly. Look at look around you. There are so many lands that the government owned. They are just unused. They are wasted. Yes. And most of these farmers do not have the capital to, to acquire, to those, acquire kind of those kinds of land. Why can't the government just create a system where farmers will have access to yeah. land for farming? Yeah. Ah. And this system of farming also you can farm it anywhere. Anywhere. Yes, you can farm it in all weather, in all climates, and even at the back of your house. You can farm hydroponically. You don't need to go far. I want to learn this thing. We call it, we call it urban farming. I want to learn this thing, seriously. <laughs> 10 million era every week. Yes, it has that potential. Oh my once I blow, I'm coming, I'm coming to learn this thing because seriously. <laughs> Kai. Yes. So um what other what how how I'm, I'm trying to see are there any disadvantages compared to soil, soil farming? farming? Okay, um, the only dis the major disadvantage is that to start it is a bit capital intensive. But the good thing is that once you invest that huge amount of money, you are hundred percent sure of return on investment. So, like, the to, shortest possible time. If I want to start it, like, how much do you think it costs me this greenhouse? Okay, just this size, it can cost you both the greenhouse, the hydroponic system, the planting, the nutrient, everything. Will not cost you up to 10 million. Euro. 10 million. Euro. Yes, but if you are to invest in this within three, the first your first planting season, you are most likely going to recover your money. And then this system will last more than 10 years. So you see, the remaining of your period is pure profit. Hi. Yes. <laughs> wow, this is really interesting. Is Just is. go to all these places where land is really cheap. Mm -hmm. You understand? Just yeah, lease it land. for 10 years. Yes. Yeah, invest right. huge money into this kind of farming. And then you are sure of making money. Wow, hundred percent sure return on investment, and then also it maximizes the use of uh, uh, nutrients and water because 
when it's on soil, if for example you are to use one bag of fertilizer to farm on the same number of plants, well, with hydroponic, we are talking of something like four or five cups. Four or five cups? Yes. That is how the easy it is. And, the wow. and then also on water, if for example, if this 7200 plant were to be on water, on soil, you have to be pumping every Pump morning it. and every evening. To, to irrigate them. But with hydroponic, the water is already inside. So you don't need that water. And no single drain of water leaves the barrier. So the plant takes up the whole water you give it. But when it's on soil, if you irrigate, most of the water gets flown away. Even the nutrients, most of them get leached away. So what, where, where are you lacking support right now? What are you looking for? Are you looking then for we... investors, partnership? What are you looking for? How can you expand this? Okay, Um. yes, we, we are actually uh, looking for investors such that so that we can key in and strike the market by force we expand it a uh, large size so we can take advantage of the large market in, in nigeria and africa so we're looking for partners we're looking for investors we're looking for trainees that will train so that the knowledge will be there will be out there and to go wide and everybody will get to know about hydroponic farming wow, i believe is... that when more people are into hydroponic farming even more some of our equipment will become cheap because they are behind the man and the price will crash wow that's really interesting so i don't believe that because this looks really easy i mean you're just saying that you use water to plant crops yeah. but was the process really easy for you um the, the actually the process of acquiring knowledge was very tedious because you know it's hard it's, it's a researching process you keep researching but once you've known it it's very easy to farm hydroponics did you lose anything in your life at the point of setting up this project actually i i uh, i i had a business that i was doing that i used the money to be researching on this so the business actually lost the business because i kept making the business as long as money comes in i take it and put it into my research yeah. before you know the business crashed the business crashed yes did you lose friends i lost a lot of friends that I was going crazy because you are trying to plant with water. That with water, is that okay? When you are still a good number of point. them that stood by me, there are still a good number of them that stood by me. People like Bobby Washak, people like mm -hmm. Kerry Kerry Paul, okay. Of them stood by me, yes. okay. What about your relationship? How, like, um, trying to set this thing up? How did you manage your school, your other things, your family relationship with this project? I it was not easy because during that process, honestly, I had my head buried into my book, my pen, my you know, research, mixing up everything, my tools and my gadgets. So I didn't have much attention for my girlfriend at that time, and then there was not much money also. So I think she moved on. She had to move on and let me. So you lost your <laughs> girlfriend because of this project? Yes, I did. I did. I did. I lost my girlfriend, the love of my life. <laughs> yeah. Do you still miss her right now? I still do miss her, but you know, we have to move on. Okay, you've moved on anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so what did you study in school? What's your qualification? Funny enough, I, I have um, uh, OND in Mass and Statistics, and then I have BSc in my Business Management, and MSc also in Management. Wow, that's really yes. interesting. Okay, let's say bye to the viewers. Um, before we do that, I would like to apologize sincerely. I forgot my microphone, and um, I did not even know that I traveled without my microphone until i already left abuja so i sincerely apologize if the quality of the audio is not the way you used to you know hear it so please i sincerely apologize and don't let's say bye to the viewers bye bye, -bye. <laughs>